Good afternoon, good afternoon. I am Sandgrain1 and this is episode 13 of the Sandpack series. And this episode is going to be about automating the cultivation of bees. This system here, these systems here are uh, fairly basic as they don't really help me develop the bees any in any way. I have uh, meadows, forest, common, cultivated, diligent, unweary and majestic. I have some imperial as well. But these are here basically just to produce pure drones so that I can use the pure drones in the cultivation. And these uh, these apiaries here I use for manually mixing and matching bees in order to develop new breeds. So here, for example, I probably tried to insert some meadows genes into the queen so that the offspring might turn into a common B and I did that manually uh, and uh, that's a process I want to automate but before we automate anything we will need to take a close look at the equipment and we're going to start with the apiary let me get some bees here I have some extra apiaries over here this is the apiary and this is where the bees will mate and work and die. These slots here are for the input bees. The bottom slot here is for drones, so I can't put a princess in there. But I can put a drone. The top slot is for princess, but not for drone. And any other slot here is inaccessible. I can't put, it's impossible to put anything in to the apiary unless it's a princess or drone and there is room for it. So I can't put, I can't right click this princess into the apiary because the slot is occupied. And the same with drones. And that is basically also how buildcraft pipes communicate with the apiary. If you insist on using red power to tubing, that will also work, but it's a lot more work because then you then there are more strict rules as to where you can uh, have the pipe, where you can connect the pipe. But with buildcraft pipe, I believe you can insert the bees from any side and you can also extract the bees through any side so yeah these are the slots for the offspring and anything they might produce so any combs will land in these slots the princess will always land here in this slot if it is available um, I'm not sure how important that is, but it will, the princess will always land there. And if you use a wooden pipe to take resources and the bees out of the apiary, then the princess will always be the last bee taken out of the apiary. So this is a system that I'm using here with some sorting. And here you can see it in action. The bees are taken out and sorted. And here we see that one common, uh, one drone and one princess was inserted back into the apiary. And the rest was sent over here. I have uh, a common bee with a massive amount of offspring every time it dies. So it's filling up very quickly here. But yeah, um, the drones and the comms will 
appear in these other slots here and will be taken out first. And uh, yeah, this is an APRS pipe. We will look, take a closer look at an APRS pipe there. Mm, this is an APRS chest. I don't think we will be using that actually. So let's take a look at the APRS pipe. I'm going to test with these uh, bees here that are unknown. I'm going to test with them first because I want to know if the apiarist pipe is able to see things that we cannot. So, if uh, so, the the question is, is these bees purebred or not? And I have a test here. If it is purebred, it should go in the yellow. If it is not, it will be green. So let's see here. That should be a pure. Let's see. That is a common common. So this was pure. It was correct. Let's hope we get some good examples here. That was also a pure. I'm I'm glad that I'm getting pure bees because I, I need pure common bees. Actually, this is this is a nice bee. But it was pure, so not very good for demonstration. That was also pure. It seems common, common. Let's hope that at least one of them is mixed. Ah. That was a hybrid. Let's just take a closer look to confirm. It's a meadows cultivated. So that was a hybrid. So the apiarist pipe can clearly see the difference, even though they are not ha have not been analyzed before. This is an analyzer. So that was pure. They jumping around a lot. Yeah, meadows, meadows. Okay, so it's it's working fairly well. Another thing that I wanted to test is how does it work with the the other abilities here. So this is this is not a cave dweller. It's a no, but it has an inactive gene. That is a little bit difficult to test with that. S same problem here. It's not, not nocturnal, which means that it's not able to work during the night. But it does have a passive, inactive, an inactive gene component there. Okay, so this is both nocturnal and cave dweller. So let's just keep that there and change here to. Uh, well, let's see cave dweller. So that's a cave dweller. Let's see if it's a pure cave dweller. It shouldn't be. And it is not. So oh, it's ended up there. So this test here, pure cave dweller will look at both this and this. And if it's yes on both, it means that it's pure. This is not pure. Which is why it jumped to the side, uh, that side instead of that. So these are abilities that we're going to use. These are the abilities of the apiarist pipe that we're going to use when we automate the cultivation. Now, I'm not going to automate the process that I talked about last here. Uh, cave dweller and nocturnal, but we will automate the purification of the bee type, that species basically. We're going to automate the cultivation of a species and by that I mean we're going to automate the process that turns these bees into cultivated bees. 
cultivated bees is the step after common bee and the the forest and, and these bees here as let's call these bees a uh, tier 1 and then we have tier 2 and the cultivated bees are tier 3 uh, these bees are a little bit special because they're on a branch, a separate branch, so it's tier 1 in the industrious branch, tier 2, unwary, and here I have the last tier, the tier 3 of the imperial branch, and before that there is the majestic, and uh, before that again it's the noble. I've I had one apiary uh, left over, so I've been continuing ma making more uh, bees from the imperial branch as well. Uh, the reason, yeah, so, but uh, I've been focusing on, when I'm manually breeding bees here, I am currently focusing on creating an impi uh, industrial industrial bee and I do have actually a drone here pure industrious drone but I still haven't gotten any industrious princess and so that's what I'm working towards uh, in these APRs here but yeah let's let's build something here let me sleep and prepare a little bit before I start the building. Uh, I would like to demonstrate one thing here. I have one apiary chest as a source here and a normal chest as a source here and there's forest seven forest drones in this apiary chest and uh, seven meadows drones in this normal chest and we have a fairly a simple system here with an orthorchic gate and a wooden pipe. And we're going to activate these and then just turn it off again. So let's see what has happened. Empty. Five. So I gave it enough time for uh, to pump two drones here. But here, it actually took all seven in one go. Um, I'm not sure if that is on purpose regarding the apiary's chest, but it's obvious that the wooden pipe treat these chests differently. Uh, for some reason, the stack of drones is in this case treated as one entity, while here uh, they are seven items and uh, because of our sis in our system we it is very important that we get only one drone so we're going to use a normal chest uh, we are actually going to build this system first so that you get to see that as well and uh, a system like this with a normal chest is then going to be the source of drones in uh, the new system that we're going to build. So let me just gather some more resources and uh, we'll have a go. So we're going to start with the apiary where we will first of all produce produce drones and we will take out any drone or any resource from the apiary, so this is going to be on all the time. It's going to go around and over the apiary. And the princess, actually any bee should be inserted into back into the apiary. So any bee goes back in and in practice that means one drone and the princess. Everything else should go up. And I'm not going to make this too complicated. Just add a chest here. So this is a very simple system actually. All the resources that is produced here and any extra drones that might be made here 
it's going to end up in this chest. Um, I need to hook up some kind of processing, so I need to, to extend this line, of course. But that is the principle. Actually, let me <laughs> know that's any other drones actually should be forwarded. Yeah, resources should go up, so items should go up, and drones should go to the side here, to this chest. So, so now this chest will slowly fill up with pure drones being produced by the princess and queen in this <coughs> apiary. So now we have the system that we have 7-0 uh, in the row there. So now we're going to use the trick that I used earlier. So one drone is being is will be taken from this chest and into the apiary. <coughs> and uh, when the princess in here, no, the queen in here dies, it will be taken out here and inserted back into the apiary. In this case, so the difference between this and this system is very simple. In this case, only the princess should go down into the apiary because the drone will be taken from here. So here we produce pure drones that is used in the purification of the princess that will be uh, going around inside here. And uh, any items and any drones should go up. So anything goes up. So the drones being made in here uh, will probably just be recycled or something. I will. I might actually analyze them to see if they have any useful genomes that I can exploit. And the resources, the uh, both this apiary and this apiary will will produce some comps, and the resources and those resources will also be joined together in one pipe into a centrifuge for processing. But this is the basic setup here. Actually, the, of course, we need some rules here. Here we also can have a constant running power. So whenever a resource ends up here, resource or B ends up here, it's taken out immediately. Uh, but this one is a little bit more tricky. Uh, luckily, the apiary has some gate conditions and we can use them. If the apiary is missing a drone, then send one drone. Now, you can see that it is false. And it is false because the apiary doesn't need a drone. There isn't a drone in the apiary, but the apiary doesn't need one either. So this is now false. So let's see if we, what happens if we add a princess, then this is true. Alright, let's get um, some unweary drones here to demonstrate. I c actually, I could move this unweary queen. I don't think there is any flowers here. And my inventory is full. Oh, I do have a flower. A flower here. And it's night. Uh, no, don't not I don't need that to work right now, so I can just fill this chest up with some startup drones. So when I insert one princess here, that will give me one drone. 
I'm going. I'm not going to let them breed. So I'm going to. But you can see uh, that worked. Uh, actually, as you saw there, it gave me two drones, and that is a problem. But I can actually avoid. I can actually avoid that by adding another rule here. Now, this is an AND gate, which means that both these must be true in order for the energy pulser to be activated. So, but these uh, the combination of these two rules does is that this this is currently true, and when I add a princess to the apiary, this becomes true as well. Both is true, and the wooden pipe will receive one energy pulse. That will take one drone out of the chest and into the pipe. The pipe is therefore no longer empty. This becomes false and the energy pulsing stops. And uh, so it prevents the system from feeding to B. So now we're going to get one B. This is now false. The B is traveling. Now it's fish because the drone is inside the apiary. And this became true again because the drone left the pipe. So this is a nice mechanic to make sure. In this case, it's because it's only one pipe distance here. It's a very effective way of preventing the system from feeding more than one. So now this system will be working and this Meadows Queen now have inside her some genes from the Anuviri drone and the offspring will then probably be a mix of Anuviri and Meadows. Uh, some might be pure Anuviri and some might be pure Meadows. But after a while when the princess has traveled through here uh, enough times, then the one princess will eventually be pure and weary. Okay, so I, I stepped away from the machine here for a few minutes and discovered some uh, potential improvements. So let me just do that before we end the episode. First improvement, I want some overflow protection here. Uh, that appear here will eventually pro produce too many drones to be stored in one chest. So we want to uh, protect from overflow. So we're going to do that with another apiarist pipe. Only drones that are pure and weary. should be allowed down into this chest. Anything else should go up. That means impure uh, impure drones and combs. Uh, that means we no longer need this. So, and we're going to send anything in the green instead of just drones. So, any B with that any B is higher have a higher priority than anything. So, the first drone will go in there, and the next one will. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so. <coughs> And uh, any other drones will go out the, the green one. Now this actually opens up for an improvement here. I put a wooden pipe there. You can see that the wooden pipe isn't closed like here on any of the sides. And that is because wooden pipes are also transportation pipes. Don't forget that. And actually, a uh, princess should go down. 
if it's a pure prince, pure Anviri princess, we want it to go up. Oh, that's anything. And uh, that princess will then end up in this chest. So, the system is complete. Here we will be producing Anviri drones and comps. Drones will be put into this chest as long as there is room in the chest and anything else is sent up. In this apiary will we be purifying any princess into an Anviri princess and the moment that the princess has been purified it will be put into that chest everything else is sent here and up this unless it's a pure Anviri drone which could it could come from this side as well that will go down into the chest as long as there is room so that is the finished product and uh, I can make many of these stack them side by side here and that is essentially the plan thanks for watching bye bye